Welcome to the desk in my garage. Today, I have to sharpen my pocket knife. So I figured I might as well make a video and show you how I do it in the real world. But first, let me show you what the edge looks like up close. Okay, so here is our edge before sharpening. And you can probably see we have a double bevel on there as well as a couple of fairly significant dents in the edge of the blade. You can probably tell that this blade was sharpened by someone who has absolutely no idea what they were doing. Here we are at an even higher magnification. You can see that dent right on the apex of the blade. So the stone I'm going to be using today is the DMT Fine Bench Stone. I think if you're going to get any single stone, it would probably be the DMT Fine. I bought this with my own money several years ago before I had a YouTube channel. It's not sponsored. I've been using this a ton ever since and it's still going strong. Um, I would recommend it. I'm also going to be using the Knife Point Gear 3 Micron Strop. We have a hurricane going on and the lights are flickering. I'm a little biased here because I make and sell these, but I think that these are the best straps that you can buy for the money period. And that's why I decided to start making them. So this is a pretty simple process. A lot of you have seen this before in my other videos, but we're gonna lock our wrist, put the knife on the stone at approximately the angle we want, and we are going to push the knife into the stone. Just like that. It's important to keep your wrist locked. No wrist, no wrist. The wrist will get you in trouble. And you can go back and forth if you want. And just a couple of passes, we're pretty much almost there. For the other side, again, keep your wrist locked. I'm gonna go approximately the same angle we already have on the knife. And I like to put my finger right on the tip of the blade so that I can feel when that tip of the blade comes in contact with the stone because my finger comes in contact with the stone. Like so. I'm gonna try not to block the camera. This is kind of difficult. So at this point, after a minute or so, we are completely apexed everywhere except for the point where that big chip was. So we're just gonna work that out over another minute or so and we'll show you the edge. Now I can take my finger and simply rub it up like this against the side of the blade and I can feel the burr laying over to one side. Now let me show you what that burr looks like up close. Okay, so here's what our knife edge looks like after sharpening. Looks like we have most of that secondary or <laughs> dual bevel off of there. And you can clearly see the burr hanging off of the edge. So here we are, we are a little bit closer and you can see the burr right there. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get rid of that so we can have the sharpest knife possible because obviously with that burr on there, the knife isn't gonna cut very well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a couple of extremely light passes on our stone. Now, when I say extremely light, I mean maybe even less than the weight of the knife itself on the stone. So we're just gonna hold and maintain the same angle or the same angle we sharpened with. Very light. alternating passes. Now I can see that we have, I can see with my naked eye that we have some of the burr starting to come off. Now we're going to move on to our strap. This is a 3 micron diamond strap. I like diamond much better than chromium oxide. 
it lasts a whole lot longer. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I applied this, this one single layer of compound maybe a year ago, and I haven't applied any new compound since, and this has been one of my primary straps. I use the same angle. This leather is relatively stiff, meaning it doesn't compress a whole lot, so I use the same angle that we sharpened with. And we're just gonna make a couple of, well, I say a couple. We're gonna make some alternating passes. Now you're not gonna be able to see this on the camera, but I can see uh, with my uh, with my eye that uh, we're starting to remove some of that burr, and I can also feel it. So the name of the game here is still maintaining an angle. I think a lot of people think that because you are using a strap, you can just go all willy nilly and all that sort of thing. Uh, in my experience, maintaining an angle throughout the entire sharpening process, even on a strap, is highly recommended. Now if you find that you have a stubborn burr, meaning one that isn't coming off super easily, get yourself a piece of wood. Two by four, anything works, and just run the knife gently through the edge of the wood. And sometimes that'll help remove some of the uh, remaining stubborn burr. Then we can give it a couple more passes. That's very sharp. Okay, so we're gonna have to play with the lighting a little bit here because this is uh, actually pretty reflective. It's not a mirror polish by any means, but it's reflective enough to where the, you know, I'm having trouble getting it in focus and lighting it correctly. But you can clearly see how much more refined the edge is all the way up to the apex. That is the width of a human hair. Well, it just cut it. I tried to get it to whittle, but it just cut the hair right off. So it's pretty sharp. So this is more or less real life view. This is what the edge would look like in real life. I'm just going to move the light around a little bit to give you a better idea. And sometimes shiny things don't show up through the camera extremely well. So I don't know if this is helping or making it worse. <laughs> Give you a quick example of uh, how sharp this is. So that's a nice clean cut through a paper towel. Now if you have any questions about this setup, what I did in the video, questions about the stone or the strop, or just wanna say hi, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the likes button, it really helps out the channel, and uh, I think I've said everything I need to say. I am gonna be getting back to making more of these videos. I have uh, some really interesting uh, video ideas, especially on sharpening coming up, as well as I'm gonna be getting back into the whole knife making thing. Got some really interesting ideas there, and I have some videos that I need to finish up. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.